Hi, my name is Paul from Physics High, and today I would like to give you an overview of Module 7, The Nature of Light, and in particular the second inquiry question, which deals with the wave properties of light. And a quick reminder that anything that I produce here will be available in a printable version, and the link is in the description below. Now, this module is divided up into four inquiry questions. The first one is looking at what is light? The second inquiry question says what evidence supports the wave model of light and what predictions can be made using this model? In essence, we're interested in the wave model. The next question says what evidence supports the particle model of light and what are the implications of this evidence for the development of the quantum model of light? In essence, we are interested in what we refer to as the particle model. And finally, we're looking at consequences. The question that is asked is, how does the behavior of light affect the concepts of time, space, and matter? In essence, we're dealing with the concept of relativity. Now, when we examine the wave model, we're looking at really two aspects. First, again, we're looking at the historical. And then what we look at is, well, what is the evidence of the wave model? So historical, we're particularly interested in Newton and Huygens. In other words, they had competing models of what light actually was. You need to be familiar with the two models and the evidence that supported their assertions. But then what we concentrate mainly on in terms of particularly the mathematical analysis of it is the evidence for the wave model of light. And there are two key areas. The first is the concept of diffraction. And tied to that is the concept of interference. So with Young's double slit experiments, which verified the wave model of light, and also using not only double slits, but also diffraction gratings, you need to be familiar with the mathematical analysis of how we use that to establish various parameters. And the mathematical formula should be familiar to you. It should be equal to m, m lambda is equal to d sine theta. So in other words, this concept of diffraction and interference, where we have interference patterns, is evidence for the wave model of light. I always remind you that it's the key inquiry questions that the syllabus is seeking you to answer. So if you want to ask what is the evidence for the wave model of light, our first bit of evidence is the diffraction model, which negates Newton's corpuscular model. But the other bit of evidence is looking at is polarization. Now what we're looking at is how light is polarized, which can be explained or at least mathematically described by the use of analysis law, which says that the, in, the intensity that you, the received light is equal to the original multiplied by the cosine squared theta, the angle between the two polarizing planes. And this is a description, a mathematical model of the the situation of what polarization is. And again, this provides us evidence for the wave model of light. So my tip is exactly what I said before. We have these evidence, of course, you need to be familiar with the mathematical models, but appreciate the fact that the underlying reason that they are there is they provide us evidence for the wave model light. If we see diffraction and interference, it automatically tells us that what we are examining has wave-like properties. That has a significant impact later on in module eight, where we can actually cause a stream of electrons to exhibit diffraction and interference patterns. And as a result, it establishes that electrons have wave-like properties as well. Well, I hope that it helps you understand this particular inquiry question and as it fits in the other inquiry questions within this particular module. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Put a comment down below if this has been helpful for you. And please consider supporting me by buying me a coffee. The link is in the description below. My name is Paul from Physics High. Take care and bye for now.